A good Monday morning to you. Thank you very much for joining us for our final expense monthly Monday. Today is Monday, March 5th. My name is Matt Alina, and I'm the final expense manager here at URL Insurance Group. And for the first working Monday of every month, we try to take some time to get some feedback from you and also tell you some of the trends and some of the things we're noticing in the final expense life insurance marketplace. Every week, or I should say every month, we seem to be getting more and more new faces, new names to the organization. So I'd like to uh, welcome you to URL. Thank you very much for your interest. Uh, the, the topics for the webinars uh, each month change from uh, from month to month. So here's our agenda, and this is something that we try to do. We try to get this in about 30 minutes time. Sometimes it'll run over a little longer, and sometimes it, it'll, it'll go a little bit shorter. But the idea here is I want to hear from you about what is going on with you specifically in the in the realms of final expense sales. What are clients telling you? Are you getting any pushback? Are you having success? We want to know all of that. But we also want to introduce you to final expense sales here at URL. Uh, we will also be discussing our lead program and our lead subsidy. We'll also discuss a new lead option. Some of you that weren't on the call last month uh, will introduce, we did mention it last month, but I'm gonna mention it again. We also have a brand new carrier. Last month we uh, announced the new addition of Assurant as well as Prosperity Life. And there's a new company that we're adding to our portfolio to keep you competitive and keep you ahead of the game. We also will be sharing with you some sales tips things that you can kind of implement right away in your sales. It doesn't necessarily uh, mean final expense. It could be really for anything. Uh, we'll also be taking some poll questions. The poll questions that we're going to be asking you, these are questions for uh, that I'm asking you so that I can better serve you and help you grow your final expense sales. The whole idea behind these webinars is to help you grow your business and for me to be able to uh, zero in on what we can do to partner with you and to help you along. And then of course, we're gonna have an open forum. So if you're close to your computer screen and uh, you can start typing questions, I'll be happy to answer those questions. I wanna know what's going on with you, see what's going on in terms of your business, things that we can do to help you, some of your challenges and some of your successes as well. So let's get into this here. Uh, again, this is more directed towards people who are brand new to URL, or maybe you're, learn, you're looking to learn a little bit more about us. We are considered the final expense architects. Now what we mean by that is we have the, the proven sales materials, scripts, guides, car, uh, carriers, all of that, is under our portfolio. We are a full service brokerage. So we have proven turnkey marketing programs, especially for Medicare producers. We do webinars. Uh, we'll be talking about another webinar that's coming up on Wednesday. Uh, I'll get into that here in just a few minutes. We do seminars here, uh, live seminars here at, at our offices. And we also can set up some time for one-on-one -on -one training. Um, we can set it up in a webinar format and it can just be you and me. We, we also have some great consumer materials, brochures, memorial books, letters, and a whole lot more. We have various uh, lead resources, and we also have lead subsidies, and it's all based on your production. We have close to 20 final expense carriers. The idea behind having such a robust portfolio of final, final expense car carriers is to keep you competitive, to keep you uh, in the game and that you're able to offer and to be able to do some final expense shopping for your client. Now, how do you go and, and uh, shop for your client? We have a final expense quote engine. When you go to our website at urlinsgroup.com slash Aries, you can go to life markets and then go to quoting tools. And then on the quoting tools page, you're going to click on final expense. And then what that will do is that will take you to the next page. If my slide will, will go, it'll take you to the next page. 
And you'll have a screen here where you'll put in the client's date of birth, male or female, smoker or non-smoker, the amount of coverage, and the level benefit plan, and then click on Get Quotes Now. The website does the shopping for you, and here you'll see that the rates are uh, listed by the, the best price all the way down to the most expensive. Now, one of the things that I'll, I'll mention is that with final expense sales, you can you want to pick a couple of carriers that you want to represent, whether it's a Mutual of Omaha or a Liberty Bankers, Transamerica, Foresters, whatever it is. The rates are not that far apart from each other, and there are some something. I mean, you're talking maybe a dollar or two difference per month. Um, so I can help you with selecting carriers uh, so that you're competitive 90% uh, of the time. Um, and we also have guarantee issue plans as well, and the Quote Engine does do that. So this, our Quote Engine on our website, it's available for laptops, your mobile phone, it'll work on all that. It's, it's all, uh, it, it basically can use any, any mode of uh, electronic device. Um, it's friendly for all of that. You can just pull up some rates there and it just keeps it everything, it keeps the rates at your fingertips at all times. Now I want to go into our lead program. We have various lead programs or lead options, lead vendors, if you will. We have lead mailers. Um, those costs have, have risen. Um, now there are some uh, improvements that they've made, but basically with any of our leads, you have a defined exclusive sales territory. We don't let other agents that are working with URL rain on your parade. So if you lock in, leads uh, for a specific county, um, that is your county. Uh, now, if you're in a county that there's a large population, we may let another person in, but again, these leads are going to be exclusive. So these leads are not going to you and a bunch of other agents in your area. So they're exclusive leads. The cost is 32 to $35 a piece, and there is a 20 lead minimum order. Now we have tele-leads as well. Those cost $19 each for a 20 lead minimum order. If you order larger numbers of leads, uh, they will reduce the costs. Um, you'll look at costs maybe somewhere in the realms of $17, $15, $14, whatever it is, depending on the number of leads that you get. Now we also have another new lead resource called Verified Teleleads. Kind of the same idea where they're gonna make phone calls to the areas that you wanna target uh, those are $25 a piece, but they're going to be verifying the client's name, their address, their phone number, the amount of coverage that they want, who their beneficiary is going to be, so that when you call back, they know you're calling, and they know why you're calling, and you can just give them some rates and set up a time for you to go either go to their home or have them come to your office to fill out some of the paperwork. And you can also do some pre-qualifying uh, with them as well to make sure that they can qualify medically for the plan that you want to quote. Now, if you're already buying leads and they're working for you, please continue to use them. We will still subsidize those leads, and I'll get into our lead subsidies here in a little bit. Now, another lead program that we have that's brand new, a couple of people have been trying it, so the, the, the jury is mixed, uh, but we have Facebook leads. Now, those normally they cost about $35 a piece. For URL agents that partner with URL, we can get you those leads for $30 a piece. There is a 20 lead minimum order. Now you are notified in real time when somebody is interested in final expense. You're provided the client's name, their address and phone number, as well as their email address. One of the feedbacks, one of the things that I'm learning for uh, people who are purchasing Facebook leads, you're not getting large volumes of clients, but you are getting clients that are willing to spend more money. So instead of somebody maybe willing to spend 30 or $40 a month for a final expense plan, you might be getting somebody that's willing to spend 50, 60 or $70 a month or more. So they seem to have deeper pockets, willing to spend a little bit more money. And because you know that these clients have Facebook, you know that they're able to do things electronically. We do have carriers that will allow you to do sales over the phone, submit an application basically from soup to nuts. You can do all of that over the phone. Now, I know a lot of these costs can sometimes be a little, a little salty, a little expensive. So we do subsidize those lead costs for you. 
Now we have two different uh, levels of agents. We have Gemini partners and we have standard partners. Our Gemini partners are people who consolidate all of their business under one roof here at URL. By doing that, we give you more money back. Uh, we give bonuses and things like that. But for final expense sales, for every $1,000 of annualized premium that you place each month, we will give you $80 lead credit. So if you did uh, $5,000 in annualized premium for the month of March, you're going to have a $400 lead credit for standard agents. Now, these are agents that you do business with us, but maybe you do some other lines of business through other brokerages. We, give, we still will subsidize your lead costs. We'll give you $50 for every $1,000 of annualized premium that you place each month. So instead of getting $400 for that $5,000 premium, you would get $250. So we're trying to help offset those lead costs for you. We're trying to give back to you for doing business with us here at URL. So here's the sales tip for the month of March. One of the things that I've talked to a couple of different brokers throughout the, uh, throughout the, the month of February. And one of the things I learned is that, uh, or picked up on was that uh, we sometimes do a very bad job of listening to our customer. There are times where I'm on the phone with a broker or an agent, and you're just trying to get through that phone call to get onto the next call, or you know, maybe in the back of your mind, you're thinking of all the things you have to do. And Frank Eliason, he's the uh, Global Director of Client Experience Team at City, And he said, truly listening is hearing the needs of the customer understanding those needs and making sure the company recognizes the opportunities they present. Another way to look at it is if you are truly listening to your customer, they will tell you how to close them. So if you're having a dialogue and if you are zeroed in on what they are saying, you will be able to come up with the needs and be able to meet their needs. So if you are truly listening to your customer, they will tell you how to close them. Now, how do you start a conversation, especially about final expense sales? Here are the top five lead-in questions. This is a way to start a dialogue, to start a conversation about final expense. Question number one, and I've used these questions before, so if it's a repeat, this is just a review of some of the things. Uh, take this information and, and implement it. Again, it is a way to open the door to having a conversation about final expense sales. Have you or someone you know ever been responsible for making funeral arrangements and how did it go? And did it create financial problems? So if they've ever had to plan a funeral for a loved one, you can have them review, did it go well? If it went well, chances are they had the money there, they had the necessary, necessary financial resources available to carry out those funeral arrangements. If it didn't go so well or if it was a very stressful time, maybe a final expense plan uh, would have alleviated some of those problems. So it's a way of basically having them review their past experience and being able to provide a solution um, so that their loved one doesn't have that same experience when they pass away. Question number two, who will be responsible for your funeral arrangements when you die? And is that person financially prepared? Of course, none of us wanna talk about dying, but it is a reality of life that we are all eventually going to pass away. So, just being direct by asking, who is going to be responsible for your funeral arrangements? And then ask, is that person financially prepared? Do they know, do they have access to money to be able to, to, be able to carry out those funeral arrangements? A final expense policy could be a way to make sure that whoever is going to be responsible for those funeral arrangements is going to be financially prepared. A life insurance policy avoids probate, and it can pass on to that beneficiary uh, tax-free as well. Question number three, does your spouse have enough savings to protect against the immediate loss of your income? 
perhaps your clients are still working, maybe part-time or maybe they're still working full-time. Uh, they're beyond retirement age, but they still have to work. Maybe they don't have enough money to, to retire. So if they were to pass away, the, the surviving spouse may be financially stuck. They are relying on that person's paycheck, as large or as little as it is. A final expense policy does not necessarily have to cover burial costs or funeral arrangements. It could also provide a little bit of an income for a little bit of time um, to, to help keep the, the to help support the surviving spouse. Question number four. This is a question you can ask your clients, and this is kind of important, especially if your clients are widowed. Are you aware that bank accounts and assets are not available to your children immediately upon your death? One of the things that people don't realize is if they have their own banking account, checking account, savings, whatever it is, and they pass away, their children don't have access to that right away. A final expense life insurance policy is immediately available upon that person's death. Again, as I mentioned before, it avoids probate and it avoids taxes. It's a way to be, make sure that the funeral is paid for or that there is money there for any needs that, are, that they see and they're not leaving a financial burden to their family. That's the whole idea behind a final expense sale is that they, the, the client does not want to leave a financial burden to their family. And then question number five, it's a very direct question. If you don't take out a final expense policy, what alternative plan will you use for your family? Again, these are all questions that open the door to having a conversation about life insurance. Again, nobody wants to talk about life insurance. Nobody wants to talk about dying. Again, it is a reality, but it is something that if you take it, take the angle that you are helping them help their family or provide for their family, you're having a conversation about final expense sales and you are opening the door to helping them and also gaining more referrals. And we have all the turnkey marketing pieces, we have brochures, we have a bunch of different sales scripts that are available to you. You just have to ask. And speaking of asking, I do want to introduce or, or I want to ask a few poll questions. So if you're close to your computer uh, screen or computer, um, I do have some questions here that I want to ask. Um, for those of you that are into the final expense marketplace, and again, these are questions that I want to know so that I can better serve you. And if there's something that it, maybe it's not becoming a very successful thing for you, perhaps there's a way for, for me to be able to uh, come up with some other solutions. Again, the idea here is to help you grow your sales. So the first question that I have is for people who are already purchasing um, or are already in the final expense marketplace. The first question is, are you ordering leads? So go ahead and answer that question. Yes or no, are you ordering leads or no? Okay, just a few more seconds here. Okay, poll is closed. 10% of you on the call today said, yes, you are ordering leads. 90% of you on the call today said, no, you are not ordering leads. For those of you who are ordering leads, what types of leads are you ordering? Are you ordering mailers, telemarketed leads, social media leads like Facebook, or maybe other leads? Okay, just a few more seconds here.
Okay, for the people who answered that are who are ordering leads, 50% of you said that you are ordering telemarketed leads. 25% of you are ordering Facebook leads, and another 50% of you are ordering other leads. Um, so it'll be interesting to know uh, what those other leads are. Um, I'm also interested or I'm surprised that nobody is using mailers, but I'm gonna say this. Our clients are getting, people are getting slammed with mailers, uh, postcards and letters each and every month, each and every week. Um, so uh, they're not getting the results that they normally would. So it's interesting to see that telemarketed leads is one of the, the, the top answers there. Um, so interesting. Next question, how are the leads working out for you? Are they good, okay, but could be better, or they're working out poorly? So for those of you who are ordering leads, are they working out? Are they poor, okay, but could be better? Or go ahead and answer that question, please. Just a few more seconds. Okay, thank you for answering. 25% of you said good. 25% of you said okay, but could be better. 50% of you said poorly. Okay. So follow up to that question. What are the common objections? that you're hearing from your client? Is it the plan is too expensive? I don't need coverage? Or now is not a good time? So again, what are the common objections that you are hearing from your client? I don't need coverage, the plan is too expensive, or now is not a good time? Just a few more seconds here to let you answer. Okay, thank you for answering. 40% of you said the plan is too expensive. 20% of you said I don't need coverage. And 40% said now is not a good time. So I appreciate the answers there and one final question, and this is to help me help you. What is most important to you? Quality, this is for everybody. Quality leads, turnkey marketing support materials, or individual product training? Go ahead and answer the question. What is most important to you specifically? Is it quality leads? Is it turnkey marketing support and materials? Or individual product training? Okay, about another five seconds or so. Thank you for answering. So here's the results of that. 32% of you said quality leads. 53% of you said turnkey marketing support and materials. And 16% of you said individual product training. So I appreciate those uh, answers. Uh, these are answers that I'm going to be able to use to better serve you. I do get the results. I don't know who answered what uh, right away, but I'll be able to read some of the reports afterwards and I'll be able to um, have an individual conversation with you uh, to see what we can do to help you. So moving on to the next part of our, uh, of our webinar today. We do have a new final expense carrier that we uh, just 
added to our portfolio. It's Royal Neighbors of America. Uh, they have a final expense plan that is uh, very interesting, very competitive. It's uh, available issue ages 50 to 85. For people that are looking, that are in relatively good health, they can get a level benefit. Uh, the minimum face amount is 5,000. It does go up to 25,000. And then for people who have some health problems, health concerns, they do offer a graded benefit for face amounts of 5,000 to 10,000. Now, Royal Neighbors is a fraternal company. Um, what they do with that is that it means that they have to offer uh, member benefits and they also have to benefit the community. And they actually are in their fraternal organization is uh, based on uh, or their whole fraternal uh, message or what they do is they work for the betterment of women. Um, so they, the, the money that they earn from their members goes to different uh, women's groups and stuff like that. Again, they offer member benefits. They have a discounted program to over 4,000 retailers, things like Universal Studios down in Florida, uh, to Costco. Um, they also offer legal um, discounts if you need to get legal documents drawn up or to see an attorney about something. They'll give legal discounts for that. Discounts for prescriptions, dental uh, discounts as well as hearing aid discounts, discounts for lab testing like MRIs and, and CT scans. Their rates are very competitive, their commissions are extremely strong, and they do allow uh, phone sales. So you'll be able to uh, sell over the phone. So again, it's Royal Neighbors of America. For those of you who have already submitted your licensing to URL and you would like to get more information and to also uh, get contracted with them, uh, let me know. Be happy to have that uh, added to your uh, portfolio. So again, Royal Neighbors of America issue ages 50 to 85. And uh, some it, basically with the member benefits, it's just another way of being able to sell final expense and takes it to uh, an, another level. So here's where we want to hear from you. This is our open forum. We want to hear from you, whether it's today during our webinar presentation, um, but we want to hear some of your challenges as well as your successes. We want to. We kind of discussed how the leads were working out for you. Um, if there's uh, if you're ordering leads uh, and you want to have an individual conversation, feel free to contact me. My contact information is coming up here in just a few minutes. And if you're on the fence about trying final expense sales, what can we do to help you give it a try? Um, th these are things that we want to know. What can we do? Uh, we want to hear from you. Um, and I do see some questions coming in, and we'll get those uh, those questions read and answered. Uh, meanwhile, for those of you who have not um, tried final expense, or maybe you're just not sure what final expense is, uh, you've been hearing a lot about it, but you're just not sure what it is, join me on Wednesday, this coming Wednesday, March 7th at 11 o'clock Eastern Time. We're going to be having a webinar, same forum like this, and we'll be providing the sales process for final expense, how to sell it, and the various ways to market final expense. We're going to get into just the basics. Final expense 101. So, um, you know, please, if you if you have not sold final expense or you're just not sure, we're, we're bringing it back to the basics. So please feel free to join us. You can register on our website at urlinsgroup.com slash Aries, and there's a place where you can uh, register for the webinar. Again, that's Wednesday, March 7th at 11 o'clock Eastern time. Here is my contact information. Uh, for any questions, comments, concerns, my toll-free number is 800-926-8875, extension 141. So here are some, um, I have some questions here. Don asks, do you have these questions available to email out? We are looking to start back with final expense. Yes, Don, I do have those questions available and I'll get that uh, sent over to you. Um, also, is there a generic mailer to send out to our current customers that we can put our business information on? Absolutely. Don, I'll be giving you a call here uh, 
before the day is out to discuss what we can do specifically for you. Um, okay, Chad, um, you asked about uh, do they have an electronic application with no paper? If you were referring to Royal Neighbors, um, they have like a worksheet that um, Royal Neighbors has a worksheet and then basically you will do a three-way phone call. Uh, you'll call Royal Neighbors uh, and have your client on the phone, make the introduction, they'll go over the medical questions and give us or give you an approval uh, right there over the phone. Uh, so yes, they do have that. Uh, it's not electronic, it's basically just over the phone. Uh, you'll you'll wanna do some pre-qualifying with your client before, um, before um, before you make that three-way phone call. And um, that way you can kind of know that they'll qualify prior to making that, that uh, before making that phone call uh, and wasting anybody's time. Um, Don, I got your contact information. Thank you very much for that. Uh, Chad, you also asked, does AIG have a fully electronic application for final expense? Yes, AIG actually is for guaranteed issue. They don't have a level benefit final expense plan. Um, but when you get contracted with AIG for final expense sales, um, you'll receive your own individual login information. Actually, you'll set it up uh, through their website. And then once you have that, you'll contact AIG. They'll be able to get you the link so that you can submit uh, the guaranteed issue plans electronically. And um, that can be done all over the phone. Uh, you will need to, to secure a method of payment, whether it's a bank account and routing number, um, credit card information, whatever it is, so that uh, payment is basically due right at, upon uh, the time of application. So. Thank you very much, great questions. Again, if anyone else has any questions, feel free to type those questions. And um, um, if you have any questions afterwards, you can uh, contact me directly at 800-926-8875, extension 141. Uh, another question that came in is, are you sending those questions to all of us? Yes, um, what we'll be doing is we will be sending you um, an email here probably in the next day or so, uh, thanking you uh, for attending our webinar and in there will be the, uh, the link to the um, top five lead-in questions for final expense. Um, that's, uh, that's a very popular one. I've used that in other presentations before and uh, I always get a good response out of that, but it really, it's, it's designed to help uh, start conversations about final expense. I'm not seeing any other questions coming in, so I appreciate everyone's time, and uh, we will be doing this again next month. Um, again, if you are not in the final expense marketplace or you're just not sure what it's all about, feel free to join me Wednesday, this coming Wednesday, March 7th at 11 o'clock Eastern time, where we are going to bring final expense sales back to the basics and how it how it works, how all the final expense plans work, what are the reasons that they're popular and kind of take it back there. And again, I'll open it up for questions. Uh, good question and answer time as well. Thank you very much for your questions and your time this morning. And again, any questions, comments, we wanna know how things are working out for you. So feel free to contact me anytime. We look forward to working with you. We appreciate your partnership and your business here at URL. And we look forward to working with you and helping you grow your sales. Until next time, have a great month, have a great week, great day, uh, be safe, and we'll talk to you all very soon.